Okay, so welcome back. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is looking at setting a default language uh, for this system. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and create links that allow the user to switch between languages or choose which language they want to, uh, you know, view the site in. Now, at the moment, um, we have uh, the problem where we don't have a default language. Now, at the moment, this isn't a problem because we're always going to have a session stored. Uh, but inside it, in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say session underscore destroy. And then I'm going to kill the script just there. So this will uh, basically remove the session. We're not executing anything after this. But now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two lines. Now there's no sessions. This assumes that the user's visited the site for the first time, hasn't picked a language or anything like that. When I press enter, we get all these errors. And that's essentially because, first of all, we've got an undefined index lang. No files been included, so no uh, language file. Uh, sorry, no. This will be on line 10. So that is, yeah, so this here, uh, no language has been defined. So it's trying to access a variable uh, value within a session called language. Um, the next problem we have is uh, we obviously can't include the language file. It's trying to include lang forward slash dot php because we've, no, um, we've got no language specified. And then we've just got an exclamation mark because before this um, should be hello. And again, we've got this undefined variable on line four, trying to, you know, echo this uh, value out. So what do we do about this? Well, uh, we need to go ahead and we need to include an else if statement. And the else if needs to say, uh, let's look at the first line first. So if this language has been specified and it's allowed, go ahead and in, uh, set this session. And then we include it later on here. Otherwise, if... Um, we don't have a set session, go ahead and set the default language. So if dollar underscore session, uh, sorry, if is set dollar underscore session and lang, if this is equal to false, that means that we the user uh, visited the site for the first time or, or closed it off and has opened it back up again and they don't have a language set. We need to go ahead and force this uh, session to have a default language. So lang is equal to English. So now we have uh, set a default value. When we view this page now, we go to the def default English. Then the user can go ahead and specify another language if they wish. Um, and then when we go back there, it remains. So now let's go ahead and make this a bit more usable and create some links that actually um, allow the user to select um, uh, some, some data. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, keep this up here on one line. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create two uh, links here. In fact, we'll do it in an unordered list for semantics. So um, we are going to have uh, the two pages that we currently have on our site, just so we can flick back and back and forward. So I'm going to have home, which is index.php. Uh, so go ahead and copy this line down, and we'll say um, menu, for example. And this will be another page. And that will just have coffee on it, which is fine. Now what we want to do is I'm going to create another unordered list. Now this is obviously going to look messy and it's nothing, you know, nothing to do with a great design or anything like that. Um, but uh, it will, you know, enforce my point. So the first language is English. And this one is German. So what do we do? Where do we link the user? Well, we link them to index. Uh, sorry, we don't link them to index.php. We link them to question mark lang equals English. Now, why do we just link them to question mark? Well, what this is going to do is because we're including this core file on every page, this will mean that whatever page they're on, it will just append this query onto the end of the URL. So whatever page they're on, they can sort of translate that page, if that makes sense. And then other pages that they visit will also be translated. So here we can say language equals German. And that's it. That's all we need to do. So on English, uh, on the English page, I'm just going to go ahead and echo out um, lang hello, and then I'll comma separate that with an exclamation mark. So on the home page now, we have English, German, home, menu. Um, let's go ahead and just pop this into an include file of its own. So it's not that confusing. 
uh, but we'll we'll pop that in I don't know menu.php we'll just make it a bit messy so I'm gonna go ahead and in here I'm going to in fact we can get rid of this now and we can get rid of this and we'll pull that down and we'll include menu.php uh, the reason I'm doing require and include by the way is require uh, has different um, error reporting uh, if if the file can't be found uh, really I guess you could require both but that's just a mention in case anyone wondered so we've, we've still got this menu um, and we can go ahead and we we can include this menu file on our other page so let's go ahead and do that and now we can switch between home and menu home and menu that's a bit confusing menu but you know what I mean coffee on the menu um, but we can also now go ahead and specify the language now if you look at the bottom of um, my browser you can see we've got english.php question mark lang equals english and the same here when we hover over lang equals deutsch if we go to menu we're on another page we now get another page.php at the bottom uh, lang equals english and the same with german so i can translate this to english back to german to english i can go home menu we're still on english i can go home translate to german and there we go we've got a flexible system that allows us to translate um, our site now as i mentioned this is uh, working in sessions you can of course do it in cookies to allow this to last a lot longer um, so you can specify the time that the cookie expires obviously if the user clears their browser um, cache um, or cookie information uh, that will no longer be valid but it's a lot more of a, an effective way um, go ahead and implement this with cookies or however you want to implement it that's going to make it um, you know, unique to your users. But that's essentially how to translate pages quickly and easily in PHP.